the internet. So first of all, can I just say how cool am I with my water in a martini glass and my little raspberry snack as well. Um, so for this video, I want to show you two ways to style a bar cart because it's a very highly requested video since I showed you my loft tour, which I will link down below if you haven't seen it yet. But basically, I moved in with my boyfriend and one of like just a couple of things that he told me I should bring with me was my bar cart because he just really loved the kind of slightly worn, well-loved art deco look to it um, because it's super old it's been in my family a long time and it's very very beaten up but he likes that I like it too so I styled it a couple of different ways the first way I'll show you is how I generally keep it for when we entertain which is really functional it's just about making these but the real version um, and I've gotten some really cute accessories for that that make it very kind of feminine and stylish and um, it just works really well if you entertain a lot and you do have a lot of liquor in your place but you want it to look stylish um, the second way I'm gonna show you how to style it is very feminine and girly and it's more about repurposing a bar cart into something that works for a girl's apartment really well as a kind of display unit that has also that bar cart element because I like everything to be functional so a lot of bar cart styling um, tutorials or photos on blogs that I see are just purely for looks it's not actually used for anything but here in Vancouver we tend to live in kind of smaller spaces and so everything kind of has to have a point and not just be about looking cute. So that's kind of the idea behind this video. I hope you guys like it. Cheers and let's get right into decorating a bar cart in two different ways. So for the first way of decorating a bar cart, we're going to go for a boozy retro theme, very Mad Men inspired. And the foundation of every good bar cart is a couple of really good cocktail shakers. You don't need to have two, but I really like the layered effect of having a couple of different ones. So the one at the back is actually vintage and purchased from Etsy, and I highly encourage you to check out what they have, bar cart inspired or otherwise, because they just have such great affordable finds. The one in front of it is actually from a local store at the new MacArthur Glen outlet here in Vancouver, but I will post some very very similar ones down below because rose gold and copper cocktail shakers are hugely in fashion right now so they're not very difficult to find. You can see I have a panoply of glasses, I've got some vintage little martini glasses and then some really pretty Murano glass ones that actually belong to Chris when I moved in. And then in front of that you can see I've added this awesome little set with a marble base. It's actually got all of the cocktail utensils that you could possibly need and that is actually from West Elm. It's still available and it was the housewarming present that he got for me and I adore it because I love anything marble. Those little bottles are actually bitters which you need if you're gonna get into really fancy cocktails but aesthetically I just really like the way they add an apothecary feel to the bar cart. So going down below you can see we have quite the selection of booze because we do entertain quite a bit. I recommend keeping whiskey, gin, triple sec or another orange flavored liqueur. You're also going to want to have some vermouth if you want to make martinis, of course, and anything with a pretty bottle is a great addition to a bar cart because it's just part of the decoration of it. Talking about decoration, the second look for my bar cart is a girly one, so this is probably how I would decorate my bar cart if I was just living by myself. What I did is to just assemble different elements from the apartment into one so that you have that girly feel to it, but it's still really functional. So you can see a lot of the elements are the same, same two cocktail shakers, same martini glasses, and some of the liquor is the same as well. The Chambord and Cassis liqueur is so that it's basically like a champagne bar because those are things that just taste delicious added to champagne or even white wine. I have a little lipstick sculpture, a little decorative box, and of course a candle really gives it that feminine element. This one is in Wild Fig and Cassis, which is a nice fruity scent that goes really well with cocktails. If we transition to the bottom level of the bar cart. You can see I have a little honeycomb wine rack going on there. I love anything metallic. I think it adds that real glam element. And I'm just adding a little champagne and white wine. In the spirit of this being a girly decorative bar cart, I added my favorite fall nail polishes. You can pause the video there if you'd like to see what they are. Little plates and trays are a great way to keep things organized and add a little bit of decoration as well. On the left hand side, I have a really pretty geometric plant plan which is from West Elm with a little bright cactus and behind that I have my favorite brand of gin ready for martinis which is Bombay Sapphire. 
So here's to your health and style. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!